describe ourselves as a black feminist punk band and we usually say we're kind of inspired by Riot Girl and 70s punk with a little bit of like 60s girl groups thrown in for measure. I think we integrate our black feminism into our music through the way we present ourselves on stage. As women of colour, kind of all in line, we have the microphones and we can kind of take control of what's going on in the room. And then in our music, it's more about kind of presenting the reality of what it's like to be a black woman. It's not necessarily kind of all hatred, it's not kind of anything negative, we're just like anyone else. I'm really inspired by Bikini Kill, X-Ray Specs, the breeders uh, we've been playing with. We've been able to tour um, with a lot of our direct influences. We've played gigs with the Raincoats, we've just finished a tour with the breeders. Last month we were with Bikini Kill and Slater Kinney as well have been a big influence so we've been really lucky to play with those artists and kind of follow in their footsteps. And I love that they're women who have continued later on into their career as well, because I think music can be very ageist. But you have women like the Raincoats in their 70s. It shows there's no age where you have to stop being a punk. I think being a black woman in the punk scene is definitely complex. I think we were definitely welcomed in our scene at first in some respects, but also we've definitely experienced a lot of microaggressions and a lot of kind of difficulties or expectations around the kind of music that we would make as black women. And compared to where we started 10 years ago to where we are now as a band, it's a lot easier to find a whole festival worth of kind of black punk bands and black women in bands. One of our songs that I feel really passionate about is Sainted and I wrote it when I was living in South London on the top of a hill and I'd always stop at the middle of the hill and smell the lavender bush that was there and I don't know, just that little kind of stop kind of coming home late at night and smelling lavender while it was raining gave me the inspiration to write the song. I think you can expect Big Journey to be a bigger journey, perhaps. <laughs> I think we will have been working on some new music but yeah, we're quite passionate as a band. We love playing live, we love getting out to new music scenes, meeting people and being able to like spread our message and so I think we'll be doing that in 2025 but on a bigger scale. We'd like to be remembered for you know, encouraging other black women to start bands because we started so non-professionally, self-taught mostly, to let other people know that they can do that too is something I think I'd like us to be remembered for. Yeah.